In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a train system within your RPG Maker game so your characters can jump on a train in one city and get teleported to a different city. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. First thing we're going to need is two train station maps. So as you can see, I've already got one here. Now time to copy and paste that. Now just so we have a few identifying features in train station one, we're going to have a tree over here and a tree over there. And in train station two, we're going to have a dead tree over here and a dead tree over there. Let's get into the actual events behind it. So we're going to be creating an NPC and he's going to be the train conductor. All right, this NPC here is going to ask the players, do you want to catch the train to dead tree station? And then after that, we're going to put a show choices, yes or no. If no, then step out of the line, please. When yes, what we're going to do is make a conditional branch. And in this conditional branch, what we're going to check for is whether the players have five gold for a ticket. We're also gonna make that an else branch. So if the players don't have five gold, you don't have the cash, get a job. If the players do have five gold, what we're going to do is change gold. We're going to decrease it by five. Here's your ticket. You can board when the train gets here. We're going to wait for 60 frames and then we're gonna fade the screen out. We're gonna play a sound effect. And after we're playing these sound effects, we're gonna transfer the player over to train station two. We're also going to make them face down when they get there. After they get there, it's going to fade the screen in. And that's going to be the end of the train ride. Now to make sure we have enough money for this test, I'm just going to insert a chest over here. 40 gold. I'll make sure we start. I'll set the player to start here and then we'll test it out in engine. So here we are, we've got no gold. We'll collect the chest, 40 gold found, and we've got 40 gold. I'm gonna walk over to this man over here. Do you wanna catch the train to Dead Tree Station? Yes. Here's your ticket. You can board when the train gets here. And now, here I am over at Dead Tree Station. You can see I now have 35 gold. So it's taken the money and it's transferred me over to Dead Tree Station. If we wanted to get back from Dead Tree Station, all we would do is copy this event, go over to Train Station 2, and where he says Dead Tree, we're just gonna change this to Live Tree. And in this transfer, instead of transferring to Train Station 2, we're just gonna transfer back to Train Station 1. And now you can catch the train both ways from this train station to that train station. It's more of like a glorified transfer event. But I couldn't possibly call myself level up design if we stopped there. So let's level this up. We're going to need another map and we're just gonna call this one train. But now all we're going to do is map out the train's interior. Now that we've got our train mapped out, what we're gonna do in the top left corner, we're just gonna make a parallel event. We're just going to shake the screen. And we're just gonna leave this parallel event on and it's just gonna keep shaking the screen over and over again. We can fix all that up later. We're gonna need another event, which is going to start the timer. So we're gonna click control timer. That's gonna go for one minute. Then what we're going to do is make a conditional branch. If the timer is equal to zero, then it's going to turn control switch Train ride over, it's gonna turn that switch on. At the very start, we're just going to make sure that the exact same control switch is turned off. After the timer gets to zero, it's just going to exit event processing. So the timer's gonna run down to zero, the switch is going to turn on and it'll exit event processing. Right before that, we're just going to show a bit of text. The train has now arrived at the next station. Then what we're going to do is over at this door down here, we're going to check some switches. The first switch is going to be this one here and we'll call it train to dead tree. The next switch is going to be called train to live tree. So if train to dead tree is on and train ride over is on, we're just going to transfer the player into dead tree station. We're just gonna make this a player touch event. On the next one, we're going to say if train to live tree is on and train ride is over, then transfer the player to this live tree station. After the transfer event for both locations, we're just gonna go ahead and turn those switches off. So train to dead tree will turn off and over in the live tree one, train to live tree will turn off. Don't forget to make them player touch triggers. Lastly, what we're going to do is if none of these conditions have been met, 
when the player touches the event. The train hasn't arrived yet. We're going to set a movement route to move up. There we go. Now we can copy and paste this, put it at the other door. Now over at train station one, instead of transferring the player to the new train station, it's going to transfer the player onto the train. And we're also going to turn the switch on. So if they're coming from live tree and going to dead tree, you want to turn train to dead tree on. Go do the same thing over at dead tree. Change the transfer event from instead of the train station to the train and then turn the switch on train to live tree. Now, before we get into this and test it all out, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to my patrons who support me over on my Patreon page. If you love the videos that I make, then consider scrolling down and clicking on the link in the description to my Patreon page. There's three levels of support, level one, level two, and level three. Scroll down, click the link, and see what you think. Now, straight back into it, let's save this all and test it out in game. Do you want to catch the trade to dead tree? Here is your ticket. You can board when the trade gets here. Gonna fade out and now I'm on the train. The train has now arrived at the next station. Oh no, we've got some glitches. All right, let's go see what's wrong. Okay, I've figured it out. We can have it as a parallel. What I've done here is I've said if the timer is over, is equal to or greater than zero minutes and zero seconds. What we need to do is if it is less than Zero minutes and one second. All right, moment of truth. Let's load it up into game. All right, there we go. And the timer's not going down. While we're at it, this train is shaking so much. All right, I'm gonna swap it back from a parallel process to an auto run process and see how it goes. It's not working. I just wanted to say this is half of what RPG Maker is, is like we've got most of this right. There's just one thing that's not working properly. So let's figure that one out. At the very start of this event, train ride switch over is off, turned off. It needs to be a parallel, otherwise we're not going to be able to move. We start a timer. Why is this not working? Let's try something else. I'm going to... Cut that, paste it over here on a new parallel process and see if the train ride... We'll do a switch. So this one over here is going to be called timer. Now we'll set timer to be on and then move over to this one here which will also be a parallel process. And then if timer is on, do all of that. All right, let's see if that works. All right, that works now. All right, so we've fixed our timing event. So what we've done is in this event up here, it's a parallel process. We turn the control switch train ride over off. We start the timer and then we turn the switch timer on. Over on this next page, we have the condition if timer is on, and it's a parallel process, all this parallel process is doing is checking to see if all of this is happening. So if timer equals lower than one second, these events play. Train ride over equals on, and I'm going to add another switch in there as well, and it's just going to say timer equals off. Now if all goes to plan, this should work. All right, we're on the train and the timer is working. Yes, if we try to leave. No, we can't leave the train because it hasn't arrived yet. That's sweet. All right, now we just have to wait till the timer ticks down. So I'll speed through that. Train has now arrived at the next station. Oh, I should probably turn the shake screen off, but <laughs> we'll do that another time. The train hasn't arrived yet. What we're going to do is over here where we turn the control switch timer off, we're going to cut that, we're going to put it over here when the players try and leave. So when the players leave, that's when it turns the timer off. Real quickly, when the train arrives, we're just going to play a sound. And stop the shaking. 
Let's try one more time. Got half of this video is just going to be us testing out these things. All right, the timer's working. Let's just take a seat. All right, now it should all work. The train has now arrived at the next station and the shaking has stopped. All right, over here where we've got all of our conditions, we're gonna make a new event page, control switch, train right over. And if that is on, nothing else should happen. Please. All right, now the train has arrived at the next station. I can move, the timer's at zero. The train hasn't arrived yet. <laughs> this video is an absolute disaster. We're just gonna delete this page. All right, hopefully this test will work and we can end this disaster of a tutorial video. Please work, please work. The train has now arrived at the next station. All right. And here I am in Dead Tree. Let's try and go back. Uh, Alright, last ditch effort to fix this. What it looks like is because over here I've got if train ride over is on, do nothing. And that's not running my timer. And it's also not running my shake event. So, in a last ditch effort to save this, right before we transfer the players, I'm just going to turn the switch off. Control switch, train right over, equals off. I'm gonna do that over here as well. The irony that this is a video about trains and it's a train wreck. I'm gonna board this train. Wait for the timer to run out, because at the moment you can see we can't exit. I'm gonna wait for the timer to run out, and then hop back on the train and hopefully all is good in the world. This is supposed to be like a three minute video. Or like a five minute video. All right, the train has now arrived at the next station, so we can hop off and hop back on. And now it's all good again. Oh, I think we've done it. We'll wait till this train, wait till this timer goes down. And if we get off at Live Tree Station, oh, this will be a victory for the ages. Oh, it works. I'm just going to try and go back to Dead Tree. And it works. All right, stick around because I'm going to want to go into a bit of depth on exactly how we've done this. Okay, so over at Live Tree Station, we talk to the NPC and the relevant switches we need to know about is we are turning train ride over off and we are turning train to dead tree on. We're turning train ride over off because over on the train map, both our shake event and our timer event at the very end of their processing rely on train ride over being on. Now, when we get onto the train, we've got a parallel process that starts shaking the screen. That's going to continue until train ride over equals on. For our timer event, we are making sure train ride over is equal to off, and then we are starting the control timer. We're starting that to go for one minute. Then we turn the control switch timer on. In the next page, we have a conditional branch that says if the timer is equal to or less than one second, turn train ride over on. Play the sound effects. And then on the next page, if train ride over is on, nothing happens. The timer doesn't continue. Then when we leave the train, we're turning train to dead tree or train to live tree off. And we're also turning the timer off. And by doing it this way, it should be resetting everything so that if you try to go on the train again, it works the other way. 
Thank you guys for sticking around through this train wreck of a video. I hope you found it enjoyable. If you have, scroll down and hit the like button. Please hit the like button for this. For this video. If you don't like any videos, please like this one. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video.